Okay, so what we have right here is the municipal water treatment plant. This is our water treatment plant. Water comes in and they allow it to settle out so the sediments are on the bottom. Then they take that water, even though there are particulate matters in there, maybe some particles that didn't settle out, then it will come over to a separate tank. They'll add something called a flocculant, which is a chemical, and it draws out any of those impurities. Over time, and it's actually not that long, probably 30, 40 minutes, those materials actually are drained out and actually will settle out to the bottom of the tank. Then they'll take that clear water, come over here, allow it one more time to filter out any other smaller particles. At this time, they'll do a final filtration. They'll hit it with chlorine, they'll hit it with ozone, and they'll hit it with UV light. And then the water is stored in a tank or either going out to consumers. These again are the steps in that water treatment stage. Screening, then they aerate it, they'll add some bacteria in there, they'll aerate it to get it going, they'll check the pH, they'll add the flocculant, they will allow any sediments to settle out, they'll hit it with chlorine, they'll filter it one final time, disinfect it with UV light, and then check the pH before it finally goes out to the consumer. Again, showing the coagulation, the flocculants added, attaches to the particles, they settle out, and sedimentation does the same thing, but it's much, much longer. Filtration's a natural way, like our groundwater, they simulate it in the water treatment and wastewater treatment plants. Final touches again, chlorination, ozone, and UV light and they want to make sure that the pH is within this range. Absorption is another one where they'll take activated carbon and actually will filter it through there in order to draw out those impurities. And we also have some water treatment plants uh, where you can go through virtual tours on them in Arizona, Texas, and California. Sewage again though is raw sewage is human waste uh, that actually is coming in. It is a good portion water, but they do treat it. Uh, one of the methods is checking and adding these uh, bacteria into the um, water. They'll starve it with ox, they'll add oxygen in there to get it going, and then they'll take the oxygen away and then it's sort of like teasing the bacteria in order to get it to actually drain not drain, but actually filter out any of the impurities or to break down the material. Uh, most people uh, do have some septic tanks. Uh, we'll later see a slide that shows about 30% of the people in the United States have septic tanks. They're usually seen in rural areas. So if you live in a rural area, you probably have more predominant um, uh, septic tanks than you would the actual water moving straight or the waste going straight to a wastewater treatment plant. Here we're showing the septic tank system. You have a tank and then they also have pipes that lead out that will drain out any of the liquid in there. So the solid waste is collected there. Uh, again, septic tanks, 30% have them. This is another picture demonstrating it, the deeper septic tank. You have the liquid that's drained out and it's filtered out through there, so it's not collecting a lot of liquid. Um, the soil is very uh, particular with your septic tanks. If you have soil that does not allow it to drain, you got a problem, sort of like that subdivision I was telling you about. Your water table, if your water table is very high up to there, again, that sewage could back up in there. If your water table is much lower, you don't have a problem with your septic tanks. Okay, and also uh, other nutrients and bacteria that's not breaking down in there. Sometimes you have to get people to actually drain out your septic tank. Here is showing a wastewater treatment plant. Raw sewage is coming in. It's filtered out, screened out the solid materials. Then it comes over here and they allow the liquid that it's... Um, to settle out and any solid material then is filtered over here to this particular area where they will uh, 
uh, take a big uh, machine and we'll actually put it into a large area to let it dry up and then they'll actually remove it and people can buy this solid waste material and use it as fertilizer materials. Now let's come back up here. So after the solid materials have settled out, then they'll take that liquid. Now in Pitt County, this right here is the next stage. They go from here to this one and then over here. So in this one, it's sort of like a tank going back and forth, back and forth. And that's where they're adding the bacteria in there. And they're adding oxygen, taking away oxygen to kind of activate it to break down any other waste material that could be in the water. After it's been activated and it kind of pulls it through, then they use this trickling area, sort of like that, that filtering process where they use rocks, gravel, uh, soil, sand, any of those materials in order to simulate groundwater where it's draining out any of the impurities in this particular area. At this point, then the water comes out, looks pretty good, looks pretty clean. But got to make sure, are there any bacteria, any of that stuff in there? So then in order to make sure that the water going back to the, to the river source is clean, what they'll do is they'll hit it with chlorine, they'll hit it with... Um, UV light in order to ensure that it's uh, very clean. They'll check the pH level of it as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Uh, and I hope the wastewater treatment plant helps out with this process.